Schools are back in session and school buses are back on the road. And as you know, drivers have to stop for school buses. But you might not realize what is playing in this video is illegal. One local police department is cracking down on violators. Amy Wattis has this story now, new at noon. This is an intersection that Ross Township police are enforcing, the intersection of McKnight Road and Ross Park Mall Drive. And it's a spot where school buses come to pick up students. And in the surveillance video you're about to see, it shows cars turning when they shouldn't be near a stopped school bus. This is the surveillance video from a North Hills School District school bus. Police say it stops in the southbound lanes at the intersection of McKnight Road and Ross Park Mall Drive every morning to pick students up and every afternoon to drop students off. In the far left lane, you can see cars turning up Ross Park Mall Drive, even when the bus is stopped. Is this okay? Even traffic that would be turning left up to Ross Park Mall, you're still technically passing the bus. Which is illegal. Ross Township Police say any vehicle traveling in the same direction as the bus must stop. What if you're coming in the other direction on McKnight Road? If it's not a divided highway like Babcock Boulevard or Perry Highway or, or, or road similar to that, then traffic in both directions is required to stop. If the road is not divided by a barrier and you see a stopped bus with his red lights flashing, then you must stop no matter what direction you're headed. Bus officials say you must stop 10 feet behind a school bus. Rules a lot of drivers might not realize, but you could face a pretty hefty fine of $250 and lose your driver's license for 60 days. And don't think you can't get caught even if you don't see a police officer around. If a car passes a bus, even if there's not an officer there, the bus company will alert us and, and we can cite the driver for that offense. Officials with the bus company for North Hills say the bus driver will report any illegal activity to the bus company and track down the driver committing the offense. Amy Wattis, KDKA TV News.